Hello! A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Knockoffs, bloody knockoffs. Hello, Alec. Hello, Stuart. How are you doing? I'm not too bad, thank you. Good, good. Alec has come to help us with our joy of knockoffs and action figures. And oh my word, we've got some doozies for you today. Let us begin with everybody's favourite film, Star Wars Episode One. Yeah. It, it's probably not quite as bad as Attack of the Clones. I, they're terrible for different reasons. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's entirely fair. Well, fortunately, they have finally got the action figures they deserve. As we present Star Wars Episode One, Yellow Man. <laughs> I'm guessing, well, it's quite obviously a rip-off of an Obi-Wan Kenobi figure, but not the highest of quality. It's, um, it's uniquely troubling. <laughs> troubling is right. It looks more like Paul O'Grady. There he is, uh, grabbing his microphone for another radio slot. Perhaps and is the first casting choice for the role of Obi-Wan. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Paul O'Grady's busy. We're going to have to get Bremner. Oh. And everything was ruined. Um, also, his lightsaber seems to be a broom handle. Yeah, I, it's very yellow, which I don't remember it being in the movie as well. Not the first time Star Wars figures have come with yellow lightsabers incorrectly, though. Yeah, very true. Happened in the 70s. I don't know why. Maybe they hadn't been told what colours they'd be. But yeah, this, so looking at it from here, it's clearly been cast from the mould of the real figure just very badly. And not doesn't look particularly articulated. I Yeah, that is... Um... Yeah, that's, you're not going to have a lot of play value with this one, I don't think. Unless you enjoy smashing them, because it looks quite brittle as these things go. The legs are literally just one solid piece of plastic. The thing is, the first wave of the official Episode 1 figures were not very gro good likenesses of the characters to start with. Very so true. To, to carbon copy those in such a, such a way, you're, you're never going to get a good result. Everybody's got their new desktop wallpaper from that one, my god. And of course we have to mention the backing card, which is like a bad photocopy of an existing card, stuck on a bit of cardboard and then cut in half. Do you think they were all cut in half, or is that just like a specific one for more shelf space? I'm wondering if this was a, a pound shop strategy to try and shift these when they inevitably didn't sell. Ah, uh, I think that is very likely. Now, looking at the back of the card, you have managed to work out which character it was. By the way, it says Queen A at the start. <laughs> in fact, all the knockoff figures we have from this set are Queen Amidala ones. And they were talking figures, weren't they, with the old Comtech oh, stuff? Oh, God. Yeah. Here are what she said, apparently. Now, vicar occupation. I am queer. This is my ca... And if we do know. So there we are. That's obviously lines that were eventually cut from the film. Dialogue-wise, though, it's not, not much of an improvement over what was already in the movie. I still like it more. It has more depth to it, yeah. I feel. And nowhere does it mention sand. Well, time for another one. <sighs> golden battle droid. About as golden as you get, actually. It looks like a statue that's been made afterwards. It's the statue of the Iron Giant from the, after the Iron Giant has blown up. He's just <laughs> lost a lot of weight. I like that his head is permanently to one side as well. So. Are, they, are they green decker? Are, are they, they have painted green on it. I wonder if it was just where the um, silver paint had come off, but no. I think that is actually a thing. They've painted eyes and a nose. I don't, I don't remember them having noses. That's I don't uh, either. I don't remember them dual-wielding shit pistols either. <laughs> I mean, look at it. It looks like something somebody's knocked together out of a bit of balsa wood. Oh, God, I really want to open this one just mm. to see if it is paint. Sod it. Let's do it. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, no, my resale value has gone through the floor. Oh, my... Oh, no, oh, 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 we've got some arm articulation. No leg Legs articulation. Aside. Oh, the head, head does go, turns. yes. Bloody hell. They haven't painted eyes, and it is just green plastic, and the paint's come off. Well, that does surprise me. Let's give him some of these appalling mm. uh, walkie-talkie. <laughs> <laughs> he can call other people up who are better to, to qualify to deal with the problem. It's nice that they've packaged one for his mate. <laughs> <laughs> He's a very sharing type. Oh, my God. Amazing. Do you know that now that's out, that almost looks acceptable. It's a very soft plastic, as one would expect, quite it's rubbery. Strangely gold as well. It's it is very, very odd. It's the same paint they use on cheap Christmas decorations, I think. <laughs> Probably from the same factory. Anyway, enough of that. 
Time for Billy Bleach, also known as Young Anakin. He's just been to the shops, got his new pair of yellow Nikes, and wants to show them off in the playground. <laughs> Although unfortunately he's got some real problems with his shoulders going on. He also looks haunted. Oh my god, I've just realised who he reminds me of. Have you ever seen Krull? Uh, I have not. I should have done. In Krull, there is a wizard type who can turn himself into a tiger and has a really bad haircut and looks exactly like that. That is a terrible reference for the audience. I imagine <laughs> if, if you see the intersect from any internet audience and people who have seen Krull, the answer will be very, very low. He's got his mighty backpack in which he stores all his sand, which he yeah. loves so much. That's where he keeps his midichlorians. <laughs> He's got so many of them. <laughs> They're overflowing. <laughs> They're like crisps. Midiflori midiflories? <laughs> Midifluoride. That's how he keeps his teeth white. Oh, given the amount of shit that Walker's put out when this uh, <laughs> this film came out, I wouldn't be surprised if they did midichlorian flavour crisps. Exactly like beef and onion. Oh, my God. Now with 20% more force. <laughs> and now Jar Jar. He had to come in the end. Interestingly, he doesn't actually... There's a space for his staff, but he doesn't come with it. I'd say we'd been shortchanged, but it kind of goes without saying, really. Um, yeah, I think that is the ultimate point of it, really. Um, I think they just didn't trust him with it. <laughs> <laughs> he also looks like he's been boiled. He's got a very red colour. Surprisingly, though, paint-wise, other than his sort of lobster-like complexion, he is the most accurate of all of them. The eyes, particularly. I really hope that they were banking on him being the most popular character, and that's why they put more effort into yeah, it. That is exactly what happened, I reckon. How fucking wrong were they? Good <laughs> God. What we got next there, sir? Good oh, good old... Ah, yes. Today, Qui-Gon Jinn will be played by a janitor. A very, very ill janitor with a purple broom. He's got spaniel ears. <laughs> oh, my God. He can hear you across the galaxy. Um, yeah, well, it's, the moulding's not too bad on this one, but the paint application hasn't really made it scream Liam Neeson. It looks more like a wrestler who's seen better days. Also, the the sort of khaki green tunic is oh. a bit of a thing. And the purple lightsaber, which I was about to say is not a Star Wars thing, and then I remembered it now totally is. Yeah, so. Mace Windu, purple, yeah. yeah. Mace Windu's got a purple one, as the graffiti says. Um, yeah, I'm... The hands are just so caked with misapplied paint. I don't think he could actually fit his bloody um, lightsaber in it. Deary me. The joys. The joys of knockoffs. What have we got next, sir? Go. Oh, my God. Everybody's favourite character. <laughs> <laughs> what? There's not enough weird racial stereotypes in this movie. How about a big fly? Oh, my God. Um, yeah. See, they put so much effort into Jar Jar's eyes, they obviously had none left over for poor old Watto. Given up by this point. Again, he looks like he's been boiled. looks like they've dunked his head into boiling water. I like that his wings are an accessory. That feels like they're cheating a bit. Oh, there is wings. I thought they were giant tea leaves or something. <laughs> <laughs> now it all makes more sense. I forgot, I forgot he flies around like a horrible thing with a big swollen stomach. Oh, my God. Goggly goodness. What a terrible character. Didn't he come back wearing an awful, like, Chinese-style hat? He's a, yeah, he's, a, he's in the second one for all of about ten seconds, I think, just to annoy people. And he probably succeeded. Yeah. What's next on the agenda of episode... I want to call it episode one. I feel like these are um, tied in with a bootleg DVD more than anything. <laughs> oh, my God, this is my favourite. This is totally my favourite. dun 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 I'll just give you a moment to uh, drink that one in, guys. So, a cross between the weird spiky-headed character that was in Doctor Who once on the Titanic, or, as you said earlier... The Tizer Man. Yeah, the head off an old can of Tizer. A poem, apparently Dark Maul with his... Sorry, I just got totally thrown off there by how grotesque the <laughs> lightsaber is. It's just because the lightsaber actually looks like a lollipop. Don't eat it. Like, really, I, the, the toxicity levels uh, of these, I dread to think. That is a fair point, actually. It does look like he's just come along with a load of candy to keep himself happy, waiting to be horribly cut in half in a very, very badly scripted move. Um, yeah, the, the eyes aren't that bad, I suppose. But the thing is, his facial tattoos were very important to the character. Yeah, it was uh, something people made a big deal out of at the time. And now he's just kind of dunked his head in some red paint and been done with it. Imagine if they'd gone with that for the film. Imagine if oh that had been the... Just take some latex on his head, he'll be fine. 
Oh, we're not painting that one every day. Just paint him red. Nobody will notice. Oh my God, bless him. I also like his fetching green tunic, which doesn't quite <laughs> go with the sort of dark lord of the <laughs> sea. <laughs> <laughs> That's his Robin Hood cosplay for later. <laughs> when he's finished fighting, he goes off dressed in Lincoln Greeno. Oh my goodness. Have we got any more down there? And oh yes, here we are. Because we didn't get enough of him earlier, it's another bloody Qui-Gon. Looking a bit more like Jesus of Nazareth this time, but with a broom handle. I think we should open him up and see what the articulation's like. Are you sure you want to inflict this on the world? Yes, the world needs this. They need to know. <laughs> the truth must be out there. Oh my goodness, right. Um, that's actually just as bad as I thought it would be. A fair bit of sort of moulding problems there. Oh my god, legs are one lump, as suspected. The arms do move. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh god, he's just seen himself in a mirror. Why gone with migraine action? <laughs> And Can he hold the lightsaber? That's the question. Well, we're about to find out. Oh my god, he kind of can. That genuinely surprises me. Oh, it's not going into this one too well. His arm... Oh, the plastic's so rubbery, at least... Oh no, look, it's totally sealed up! <laughs> I'd have to try and poke it through. There, go. there we are. That's a great line to take out of context. And... Oh my god. I can't... Uh... That's the end of my review for that figure. I'm going to be honest, not a big fan of the film, but if you do want figures, I would probably recommend the real ones, as opposed to whatever the bloody hell they were. Oh no, I've just spotted on the back, look. Horrible, horrible dimples from cheap moulding. Although I will say his hair has been done remarkably well. That's true, the hair has got a lot of detail in it. It's a big old moulding line, you often get those anyway. Well, that, those were on the, on the normal figure, I think. I know what it is. The reason they look so bad, the hair's so good, they're all made by hairdressers. <laughs> they couldn't get any of the um, plastic moulders in that day. Hairdressers Just... and Christmas tree decorations and manufacturers. <laughs> they finally joined forces to make some Star Wars gubbins for us all to enjoy. Oh my goodness. Anyway, enough of this prequel gubbins. We want to go back to the original films, the good ones. The real Star Wars. The real Star Wars. <clears throat> The f a new hope, Star Wars, followed by Vampire Strikes Back. I think that's how it goes. My goodness, so this is basically Star Wars as pronounced by somebody with a mouthful of toffee. Pretty much. Right, and to give you the story here at home, this is a six inch black series figure, which is uh, obviously a larger scale Star Wars figure, very well articulated, and um, very nice figures, but quite obviously not a real one. By the way, it doesn't say Star Wars, it says Star Wars, <laughs> which I am never going to tire of saying. Um, other than that, the package looks, you know, exactly as it should, from the ones you would buy in the shops for 20 quid or whatever. And the figure looks really, really good. Done a remarkably good job on this one. I mean, uh, the moulding's just right, isn't it? For reproducing a high-end figure, they've, yeah, they've really done a job. We'll have to get it out and see what he's actually like. And it just so happens I have here one of the genuine ones. We can put them next to each other and see if we can tell the difference. Well, the guns don't look as good, actually, to start with. Um, oh, yes, that's true. Yeah. They've been matted. Yeah. yeah. They're not as glossy as the original one. I don't know if that's really going to pick up on camera. Yes, it is. Hooray! Um, and this one looks quite bent, but then again, most of them are anyway, so... Oh, dear. It's rock-hard plastic, actually, and bent, so you can't ever straighten it. Hmm. OK, that's not starting too well. But the actual figure itself... Whoop. My goodness. I'm... It's slightly more matte and rubbery in general, but there's not much to it, actually. In fact, I imagine on camera, they're going to look pretty much the same. And every point of articulation seems to work. Yeah. See what you think, Alec. I'm genuinely impressed with that. His feet look a bit weird. That's the only thing that I will say about it. He's got slightly bizarre feet, oh, our guy yeah. on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, mind you, the original's a bit like that, actually. Um... Ooh, do they sort of move sides? Yeah, they do. He's not bad, though. He's not bad at all. I wonder how much you can get these things for. I mean, it must be at least half the price, I'd have thought. You'd, you'd have thought. Hmm. It's a reasonable knockoff, though. 
It's not bad at all, is it? You could quite happily display that next to that one, and most people wouldn't notice. I mean, the slightly shinier plastic works better, because of course Stormtroopers had very shiny armour, so... But yeah, if you saw that without having seen one of those first, you would think it was a real one. Until you read where they've put Star Wars instead of Star Wars. It's kind of the big giveaway. Yeah, to say the least. Oh well, time for something that's so much of a ridiculous rip-off that you would never think it was real in a million years. We present... Space Buddy! <clears throat> that's not Space Buddy, that's Space Spuddy Novelty Couch Potato. We're just going to let this one sink in for a minute. Yeah, I think we're going to uh, adjust the old camera there. Just to give you uh, obviously not too backers features. I'm going with grizzled person who lives under an overpass. So this is a horrifying thing <laughs> that they've created there. <laughs> Remember lovable Chewbacca? <laughs> Every kid's favourite. This is his drug addicted uncle. <laughs> who probably features in the Star Wars Holiday Special somewhere. Oh my goodness. So other ones available, not Darth Vader with toes and a little tuft of hair, a cross between a stormtrooper and a television, and like an overweight predator? Everybody's favourite Star Wars guy. <laughs> what? And on the back... Ugh, is he by licking that Yoda one? Oh, he was God. Captain Kirk, which yeah. is bizarre. <laughs> he always did wish he was in Star Wars. Now we've got the... Pr Good God. He's just going to cover that for a second while it freaks me out. Um, so the idea of this is it holds your space snacks, rocket fuel and laser so you don't have to. Right. Comfortable neck rest for relaxing after exploring the galaxy. Well, I've got those. They're called pillows. Space Buddy is a man's best buddy. He is your mission partner, friendly, and always in a good mood. As you can clearly see. see yeah, he looks like he's in a great mood. the face of a man in a great mood. <laughs> he looks like Jessica Jones' neighbour. Good God. <laughs> right, and on the back, um, yeah, you, you've got these bits of cardboard to prove you can put your bloody energy drink in this pocket and your chocolate bar in that pocket and... Laser, I think, is a remote control from looking at the others. Also, weirdly, you've got these things at the sides. So you could, like, put your hands in and use it as some sort of... Um, like those things ladies have in uh, old Russian movies <laughs> to keep their hands warm. <laughs> Instead of looking sophisticated, you can look like you've got your hands in a shit Chewbacca. I'm now imagining a special George Lucas special edition of Dr Zhivago where all of those are replaced with these. <laughs> We did the guns to walkie-talkies. We can do this, lad. Um, there's also a weird thing. The little feet are filled with beanbag stuff. This I... really is a useless thing, though. I <laughs> mean, as far as tat goes, this is... Like, the idea that you would just keep this handy on your sofa <laughs> in the event that you... <laughs> I've lost the remote control. Where is it? Oh, it's OK. It's in Potato Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> happens if somebody destroys the original print of Star Wars and has to paint Chewbacca in themselves. This was Lucas's first draft for the new special edition. Oh my god. Upon seeing it, the American government made Disney by Lucas. <laughs> We've got to stop him somehow. A generation oh. of children will be destroyed. I can't laugh at this too much though, because this fucking piece of shit cost me twenty pounds. I can't believe that you spent money. Twenty on pounds it. from Roy's of Roxon, but when I saw it, I thought the internet must know. <laughs> I'm gonna take a hit. We will warn them. Yeah, I hope I get at least twenty quid ad revenue from this video, or it's gonna be the biggest thing ever. But at least I've got my space buddy to keep me warm at night by glaring at me <laughs> horribly. <laughs> Space oh buddy. my god. He will judge you. <laughs> and he will never judge you well. The only nice thing is, actually, it's got incredibly soft fur. Well, have a feel. Just... Feel my Chewbacca. <laughs> feel my buddy. <laughs> it is soft. Yeah. yeah. It's... it's like those toy alpacas everybody always has at um, comic conventions. Oh dear. Well, that's the lot about that, except for the thing we haven't shown you yet. We have one more up our sleeve. One more item of interest. Ooh. Now this is very interesting. This is a very, very modern knockoff, but not sold as if it was a real thing. Well, kind of. I don't... I don't know. This is a very grey area. I'm going to have to get Alec to explain this one. But we have two reproduction original Stormtrooper figures, except one in 
black, so it's a shadow trooper or something. Presented to us by Crazy Toys. Crazy. So crazy. Crazy horses. And on the back there's a bit of writing and stuff. For modelers age 14 and over. I see. Is that a way of saying it's got small parts that might choke a child? Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be my guess. <clears throat> now let me drag these out of here. We have here actually an old one from 1977 for comparison purposes. We'll bring him in. You see they've mostly gone yellow over the years and so uh, having a brand new fresh white one for display is very very nice. But of course it is not real, it is a modern remodelling. And there's several things that, uh, well, give it away. First is they've got these immensely glossy reproduction guns where you could actually blind yourself by <laughs> shining light off them into your eyes. Oh, incidentally, here's, here's the shadow troop of people interested, because we're going to leave him behind a bit. It's just the same one painted black, yep. basically. Literally so, moulded in black and with silver eyes. There we are, that was exciting. And yeah, here's the new one. And, well, there's a couple of interesting points to it. I'll let Alec explain the two things which give it away as not being real. Well, firstly, his arms click when you move them. They certainly do. They only go to certain positions, whereas this is like a smooth movement. Whoop, whoop. This goes... Like it's got a sort of hexagonal thing in it or something, and the legs do the same. Feels very weird. It's a little wobbly. Whoop, whoop. If I do it quick enough on camera, it looks like it's stop motion. Oh, it's weird. It's freaking me out. Anyway, what's the second thing, The second one is that his hands are moulded as a separate part of... Uh, plastic, so you can, with a bit of force, pull the hands out of his socket. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, they, they absolutely are. I'm not going to do it because I think they'll rip, but um, yeah, that's interesting, whereas the original one is very much one massive solid lump of plastic. Hmm. Now, what is the story behind these? Where do they come from? Where did they go? Where did they come from, Cotton Eye Joe? What, what a wonderful reference <laughs> to, to bring in We're, we're getting all the kids' favourites in today. <laughs> But these have caused a bit of controversy in the uh, vintage Star Wars collecting world because they are very good reproductions. Um, well, <laughs> uh, they look they look the business, and um, apparently somebody got somebody who has done molds reproductions of very rare vintage Star Wars figures. Um, also got hold of uh, a mould for the original Stormtrooper and decided to um, mass produce them, which was naughty, because a lot of people are now sticking these on fake card backs, pretending that they are original, genuine 1977 Stormtroopers, Ooh. flogging them on eBay for thousands of pounds for the people to uh, discover that what they've got is not the real article at all. And they've originally got... they've even got the original copyright on the back. Ooh, hang on, let's check that out on the old leg there. Yeah. Copyright uh, GMFGI 1977. It's uh, General Mills who made the, um, is the Kenner parent company that made the figures. Oh. So yeah, so this is a uh, this is a fairly accurate knockoff and if you stuck this on a convincing card back you'd really have no way of telling that it was um, it was not the real deal. So people are up in arms about these because they've been fooling a lot of people. Yeah, the only difference I can see is the paint application around the eyes. But um, as we were saying before we recorded, that's actually a variation of the original Stormtroopers anyway, isn't it? Yeah. So, hmm, that's a bit naughty, isn't it? So, I mean, mostly when they do sort of modern reproductions, they'll remove the copyright or write reproduction. Write reproduction on them. Yeah. Or they, the other telltale sign is they take off the peg holes on the feet, which this one ah, still has. Yeah. So, yeah, so very naughty. I mean, it's beautifully moulded, as yeah. much better than the original, in fact, from the original mould. So, blimey. Well, what a world we live in. Well, we started off with things that would fool nobody and ended up with something that would fool the vast majority of people. Yeah. Well. It's the knock-off spectrum right there. There we are. We went right from red through to violet. Ah. Subscribe for more.